That was Andreas Johnson and Glorious welcoming you to the Just Josh Show here on Caroline Community Radio. You're joined by me, Josh Holmes Bright, with you until 8 o'clock this evening with loads of great music and chats. As always, very special this evening, actually, because we're joined by a fantastic guest. It's Dean Moorcroft, who plays in the Spandau Ballet tribute band, Spandau 2. And uh, we're going to get things going straight away. So, uh, Dean, how are you doing? Hello. I'm good, thanks, Josh. Yeah, good, thank you. Good, yeah. good. Thank you for coming on. It's uh, always nice to have some local guests on. No problem, yeah. I'm, I'm quite local. I'm only from Malden. So yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, you do quite a lot of stuff in the community. You own a shop in the high street, so uh, we'll mention that a bit later on. Um, first of all, I want to talk about how you got into music, into the music industry, because, uh, as I said, you play in the uh, tribute band for um, for Spandau Ballet, Spandau 2, and a, a few other tribute bands too. But, yeah, how did you get into music? Um, originally, I think it was through more my, my dad. Um, right. My dad was um, a play, you know, used to play in East London years ago. Oh, OK. Um, and from there, really as a child I was dying to get on the drums do you know what I mean and yeah. I was never allowed so finally you weren't finally, allowed not really no because there was never a kit about my dad used to play guitar right so you know it was, it was never an opportunity to grab a drum kit but okay fair enough See, once my dad bought me one for Christmas that was it there was no stopping me. absolutely I can yeah. imagine yeah. did he want you to play guitar because he was a guitarist yeah or? I think he did was pushing me towards that way yeah. and, and about five years ago I actually did end up learning the guitar so I can play guitar oh, okay. as well but drums is where, where my heart is really yeah Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Why is it you love playing the drums so much? What is it about? Um, I think it, it's it's got quite a drive to it. You mm -hmm. know, the, the, they they say the heartbeat of a band is a drummer. Yes, um, yeah. and you know, and 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 to be to hear the drums, you know, you've only got to look at someone like Phil Collins or even Ringo back when the Beatles yeah. back in the day. Yeah, um, you know, they, they, they're they're good players. You Absolutely, know? and it, and it holds a good band together. You know, a good drummer. I'd have to agree with you on that. Yeah. and um, you've played in a few tribute bands. What was your first break into actually being a musician? As a, as a paying job, if you will. As a paying job, I suppose it was more uh, as a regular paying job was when I was in a Abra um, and also a Bee Gees um, tribute band. Okay, um, yeah, which was was great fun because obviously Abra, everyone loves Abra. You well, know? yeah, you know, yeah, you, you'd be hard pushed to not not find someone that likes at least one ABBA song you know yeah that's true yeah I was I was a bit hesitant there I'm not the biggest fan of ABBA but when you said a, a couple of songs yeah there must I, be one Josh there, you, there's like. a few I don't mind them I don't mind them but uh, yeah that's great how did you get the offer for that was it something you applied for or they, they uh, yeah it was, it was something that I applied for went down um, done an audition and, and, it, and, and it didn't stop from there and then obviously we've done a lot of work all around the country but yeah obviously being my, my full-time day job in Malden in the yes, high street and that, yeah. that, that become a bit of a juggler there so right okay you know, that that start, started to take a bit of a back, back step there, okay so. fair enough yeah, yeah that makes sense yeah. uh, we will talk about the dry cleaners you uh, you run and of course the Spandau Ballet tribute band you're in at the moment but I think it's right we uh, play some Spandau Ballet right now uh, this is gold a classic from them and Gold Dean, would you say that's your favourite Spandau Ballet song? Or have I let you down a bit there? Ooh, it's in the top three. Okay, top three. Yeah, I'll take that. Three. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll try better next time, but yeah. I'll take top three, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, you are a local lad, I'll say that first of all. You run the dry cleaners on Molden High Street, don't you? That's correct, yeah, I do, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has that helped with the uh, help with the music at all? Because I imagine you've got it on in the shop in the oh, background. We, we, always, we always got the radio on in, in, in the shop. Josh. Perfect, yeah, that's how I like it, yeah. Yes, um, and what do you do in the, in the, um, sorry, in the dry cleaners? It, do you do anything to sort of practice? So if you've got the music on, do you practice on the drums, uh, air drums, anything like that? Busy, quite a busy shop. We've been there, oh, blimey, we've been there 28 years now. In oh, wow. Street, wow. In Alden, there, just along be the Promenade Park. Right, OK. Um, so, you, you know, you don't get a great deal of time to be practicing during the day. Well, there you go, <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a pain, but there you go. Yeah, that's what you said when you came in earlier, isn't it? Your proper job, that is, your proper job. So I suppose you have got to be a bit more professional. It's but, not um, so much fun as the drums, put it that way. No, I can imagine, no. But uh, playing the drums, Spandau 2, the uh, the Spandau Ballet tribute band, how is that? What, what do you like about it so much that it uh, keeps you going there, I suppose? Oh, it's, it's fantastic. When I got the opportunity to audition with the guys to go along there to be the drum, yeah, you know, I've, 80s, 80s music is is what I'm at at heart really. That's okay. what I love playing. Good, yeah. And, and obviously, the idea of a Spandau Ballet tribute was fantastic in my eyes. You yeah. Know? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. The, no disrespect. There's a lot of Abbas about, a lot of Beatles tributes about, and they're great. They're fantastic. Yeah. But there's a hell of a lot of that out there right there's own there's not many tr spandau ballet tributes is there not no there's not i no. think in the whole country there's probably two or three including ourselves oh wow i didn't uh, know there was that little yeah yeah wow um, but you know we've we, in, in the gigs 
that we've got coming up. There's been a hell of a lot of demand. Um, oh, right. So it's, it's looking good. It's That's looking good. good. We're looking That's good, yeah. Good. Yeah, we, we can't wait to get out there again. It's going to be I great. can imagine. Yeah. How did lockdown affect you as a band? Did you? I'm guessing you haven't done much We recently, haven't done nothing then. at all through lockdown, obviously. Oh, wow, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. things and pieces. But we've got, this year we've got a hell of a lot, you know. The, the dates, in fact, we've just added another date today. Oh, wow. Um, which is down towards Devon Way. So it's not a local one. Okay. But obviously, it takes us even down to the coast. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, yeah. yeah. and you have got some local gigs. You've got some in front of you. If you want to give them a quick yes, plug for anyone, have, yeah. Our first local gig um, coming up is in, at Brentwood, which is the Essex Bar, um, and that's a Friday night, which is the sixth of May. Um, and then even more local than that, we've got Whitham, um, which is a Whitham Public Hall. All right, um, and that is on the Friday again, which is the twentieth of May. So you know, not not long now. Yeah, um, yeah, it's coming close. And then the last local one that we've got coming up is at the Colchester Headgate Theatre which is a lovely little theatre it's a tiny theatre but right. it's a real 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 lovely little theatre I haven't been there um, I might have to pop along you're, you're going to have to check that one out Joss it's, 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 it's very tiny it's only about an 80, 90 seater right oh wow. wow it's a very very unique little building it's yeah. quite an oldie woldie building well sometimes the smaller ones are the best as well for concerts True. aren't they so uh, True. Yeah. yeah and uh, you've got loads of gigs lined up and uh, you've got them all lined up on your website as well if you want to give that a plug I don't know off by heart but I'm sure you I'm I'm sure you can remember yep, it. Yep, it's 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 spandau two um, dot com. Oh, okay, um, nice yeah, and easy nice then. And nice easy. and easy, yeah. Um, and obviously we're on Facebook and mm-hmm. Instagram and that as well. So yeah. everybody can check us out on on Twitter as well. So we're, we're all on the social media. Perfect. And that is, is it's all it's all set up. I don't get too involved in that because right, okay, technology. Yep, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. Um, well, was there anything else you wanted to plug? I feel like I've rushed it all a bit, but uh, I mean we've summed it up pretty well. You've got gigs and uh, you're back out playing. Um, yeah, there's a couple of little plugs I could I could add to to, to, to the mix. I suppose our lead yeah. singer, which is Ian. Ian, yes. Ian Pont. Um, he used to be a professional crit- cricketer. Cricketer? Uh, in Essex. Oh, wow. In the 80s. Wow, a bit um, of a change of career then. So, yeah, he's changed the cricket bat into the mic stands. So Very nice, yeah. a bit yeah. of a change. But, um, and yeah. he, met, um, he met Tony Hadley as well, didn't he? I saw I saw you've posted about he that did. and you've got it yeah. on the website. Yeah. yeah, and he played a few clips um, of us playing. Right. Um, and, and Tony... I have to mention, didn't get paid or wasn't forced to do it or anything, just purely off his own back because he's a great guy. He really is a great guy. That's good to um, know, yeah. He just sat there, listened to it and went, yes, yeah, great guys. We love it. We love it. it that really must nice. be amazing. It was really, it was really, it was quite touching really because obviously he doesn't have to get involved in things and that. And yeah. I know he's got his own solo career and he's, I'm actually going to see him in June myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It's been, you know, you've got to, you? if you've you're got to, yeah. Valley tribute, you can't yeah. not go and see Tony Hadley. For sure. Um, and I know that he's got dates all around the country as well coming up so I yeah. think it's only fair also he gets a bit of a plug really yeah yeah, yeah of course yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well that's brilliant we are going to play a clip of you in just a second and uh, taking us up to the ad break so uh, yeah thank you very much for coming on Dean that's it's been great. a pleasure thanks for having me Joss that's brilliant no thank worries you. no worries I hope all goes o- all goes okay on the tour and uh, hopefully we uh, look forward to having you back on again sometime Lovely. I'd just like to quickly say if that's okay yeah just yeah to no problem any customers that have ever come into my shop in the high street even if they've only been in once we've actually been there 28 years so I'd just like a little mention say thanks very much over the years that's absolutely really nice. that's yeah great. that's very thanks nice so yeah thank dean you. thank you for your time it's been a pleasure that's great thank you CDs and downloads. If it's good, it's on Caroline Community Radio. (laughs) 